What is up YouTube, welcome back to Buddy Techno Boy. And what you are seeing now, that's a 12 volt mini stereo amplifier. And uh, that's already open, this is a casing. And see Lepi LP-A6, super bass, two channel output power amplifier. And this is to use is in like uh, old uh, cars, the open jeeps and uh, tractors and even is it in a bus or a lorry or uh, any uh, old type cars like that uh, because the uh, car studio is different and mounting uh, process is also different and you can see this thing is different uh, the two screw uh, holes are there on the both sides so you can mount it uh, anywhere on any surface using four screws that's it and it's a low profile amplifier so you can use it anywhere uh, to lower power supply so Ah, the problem is, this thing is uh, the main amplifier chip, it's history, a few days back it uh, started uh, making some noise and then it was gone forever, like uh, totally silent, so I have removed the chip and here you can see TDA7266SA, that's amplifier IC. Uh, but the point is this thing has very low wattage like 7 watt uh, per channel uh, the max output with the uh, max ampere uh, that you can provide through the your car auto 12 volt battery so this chip is mounted uh, on this small PCB you can see and that was that PCB was mounted uh, right there I'm gonna show you later but the fact is that this thing is already uh, gone so I've removed this and uh, here you can see the connections are simple L in R in uh, sound ground as a left channel output as a right channel output as a VCC for power supply and as a power ground and that's standby mute so that's it very simple and you can easily find these points on the main kit right there and you can connect another uh, amplifier chip uh, like that like what I did that's what I want to show you and so you can see that's a PAM 8610 uh, amplifier kit it's a very tiny one you can see that much smaller but this thing is uh, like uh, 15 plus 15 watt I mean 15 watt per channel uh, that's going to give you that much output and this thing also you can drive it uh, 12 volt it can give you a power supply of more than that but 12 volt is uh, ideal power supply for uh, this kit so this kit connection is simple and I have connected this kit to this main uh, circuit board right here uh, in right at the place of that amplifier connections very simple you can see the yellow and the blue both side that's the speaker output so I've connected them to the speaker connector points right there you can see that's the right channel that's the left channel and here you can see the red and black that's the power supply here red and black and uh, on this side the two reds and one yellow these are the input which is, which goes right there two reds for left and right channel input and the yellow for the ground so that's it it's pretty simple connection and um, this thing doesn't need any kind of uh, heat sink or anything like that so because it's a class D amp and uh, it's a very cool chip so you can connect it anywhere I've just connected like this just to test it and I'm gonna place the wires from this uh, hole right there I'm gonna keep the circuit board on this side uh, somewhere because this side is clean you can see few parts are there and uh, except that nothing is here so I'm gonna keep the kit on this side later but uh, before doing that Let's just uh, connect this thing to the power supply and uh, check the audio. As you can see, the speakers are already connected right there. So 
So now let me turn this on. And you can see it's on now. And it's connected to my mobile right there. So let's play some songs. So that's it, the sound is pretty loud and clear unlike the 7266 uh, IC, very low wattage and uh, low volume uh, so much things. Uh, this is like less than, this is around 40% volume and the bigger boxes are there and it's connected to mobile. As you know the mobile preamp level is uh, too much low. So if I connect it to my PC or any other source then the output level would be much louder and the sound is also clear if you are hearing some kind of uh, hissing sound that's because of uh, not proper grounding right there with that chip and the main uh, circuit board so I'm gonna do that right now and I'm gonna show you the final output so let's wait for that Alright you do so the work is done you can see the kill is on this side and the wires goes through that gap right there and it's mounted on this side to their places that's the power supply this two are for the speakers output and that's the audio input so simple and also I have grown one wire to this volume control right there so it's done now, now let's check the sound. 